Unfortunately, this does not have the original 220 cylinders, at least one of them's not. The previous owner did rebuild the motor. At least on this side, it's got 824 cylinder. The SLP twins into stingers, which I've never ever seen before. I've always seen SLPs into a can, so that's kind of different and unique but it looks legit it just ain't no homemade bullshit so that's pretty freaking cool if anybody knows the story on the slps and the stingers let me know because i have no idea maybe they're the sp race version and all the pipes i've seen so far were trail version in toucan maybe it's the same freaking pipe just a different you know muffler i don't know tell me what you guys think all right, so we got a little bit more information on those pipes. You guys are going to have to wait till the end of the video to see that, though. Um, this is all provided by Steve Rybicki. Rybe I just assume I'm pronouncing that right. I've, I've totally butchered it. Steve Rybicki. I'm sticking to it. Amber is not impressed that I'm doing a video right now. <laughs> However, uh, these are actual 700 pipes. The stingers on them were not custom built or anything like that it is from SLP they are early like the original 700 pipes that were made in 97 so and they have pretty good claims as far as power goes but I'm gonna throw in some of the pictures he sent me at the end of the video so but pretty cool though it is purple top it does have oh no it don't that's a 98 CDI Huh. Well, so the CDI has been replaced at some point. No big deal. Uh, it still has the original 97 oil routing, which to me is problematic. I'm not a fan of that at all. Because all the oil lines run under the motor. And you're more prone to get an oil leak and stuff like that. So, you know, steel skis, old black shocks, not fancy to it, except for some gnarly sound pipes. <laughs> Man, I love them. They sound so good. They sound so good. I don't know what it sounds like on camera, but I promise it sounds better in person. You know, it needs gas cap too. So, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I used to have one just like the same year, same model. It was SKS 700. I had mine twin piped, but it was HTG twins. And this was a long time ago. This is like maybe 07, 2007 roughly. These weren't that uncommon, or at least they weren't sought after. Let me put it that way, like they are now. And uh, I freaking Gen 2 swapped it because, well, I wanted a sled that looked newer. And I was like 17, 18 years old and uh, the belly pan from like specifically a 99 RMK rivets directly on here. It's exactly the same. Put a blue Gen 2 hood on it. The plastic piece that went around everything. I did it right. It didn't look terrible, but it looked like a Gen 2, not a 97. 
classic spruce green indie so looking back i wish i never would have done that but help back then nobody really cared about these things they were just beater old sleds at that time you know what i mean dumbass teenager like me was able to buy so yeah um i'm gonna throw my helmet on some gloves and we're gonna go for a little rip on this thing see how it really runs i know it needs carbides um but other than that i'm not really sure speedo works that's a plus this dry shot bearing is probably good for the moment
thing here on so good Whew. man does it run good oh my god guys that little 700 is nasty okay i think it runs so good it doesn't have studs so don't hook out of the hole but once you start grabbing traction whoo things are ripper i'm pretty sure it's faster than my 800 <laughs> oh man so I bought that sled for $700, 700. My original plan was to put it back to stock, sell it. I'm not so sure, I still might, but I'm not sure. Pretty much I wanted the pipes and the clutching parts. Man, that thing, it's like a blast in the past. It takes me right back to being a teenager because I had the same freaking sled. I mean, I, my first radar runs I did on a 97 SKS 700 twin piped with HTG twins but that one was studded up so it just it was that was so it was actually pretty stupid quick because it had the 136 a buttload of trail studs in it twin pipe 700 so it probably made 135 maybe horsepower and uh that's a little stupid this one's crazy it, it it's not studded but I mean it just it brings back all those teenage memories of me being on 97 SKS like immediately. And man, that was just like the greatest feeling. So basically, long story short, these are early build really rare twin pipes from SLP for a Polaris 700. These were made before the canister style SLP twin pipes that everybody owns. Uh, their claim from SLP on their little dyno graph there is 134 horsepower with just the pipes. But if you had the head, their porting and the V-Force reeds with the pipes, they claim 150 horsepower. That's pretty impressive, but 134 just with pipes is also pretty impressive. Um, it's supposed to run 8,100 RPMs, and huge shout out to Steve for sending me that info because I've never seen a set of pipes like these, nor even knew they were ever made. But turns out they are an early build set of pipes, and there probably weren't too many of them built. So that's really cool. And really hard to find and if you guys know me i love hard to find stuff so there that is 